Hello everyone, this is January 12th and this is our Daily Meta. We've been talking about a perplexing episode that occurred to me on campus some 16 years ago when uh, students were advocating that we do something about Asian hate crimes. And I was uh, troubled then and I'm troubled now by the fact that you can approach a particular form of violence uh, in such a way that it doesn't really help that form all that much, or if it does, it doesn't help the general picture. And as I pointed out in the book, the reason that Asian hate crimes are on the rise ultimately has nothing to do with Asians or crimes. It has to do with the rise of hate. And so the winning formula for any problem that we need to address, and I didn't make this quite clear when I wrote the book, but I feel it very strongly now. The winning formula is every issue that we address, we need to address it in such a way that it not only solves the issue itself, but it, ha it resonates with the entire problem uh, of violence and hatred that we're falling into more and more. So there's a particular skillful way of doing that, and I'm going to be talking about it from time to time, and I'd really like to hear some of your thoughts and comments about that too. But I did point out that if we could get that hatred to subside, to that degree, all the manifestations of it would subside. So this is really, as we say nowadays, going upstream to the source of the problem. And uh, I pointed out that it has a lot to do with the decline of human dignity. Somehow, indignity is connected with separateness, and dignity is connected with unity. Now, a fact that I learned after writing Search for a Nonviolent Future comes from psychiatrist uh, James Gilligan, who studied um, very disturbed criminal behavior for 25 years and found that the one predictor for people to become, say, serial homicides or something really antisocial like that was that they were disrespected as children. And they're spending the rest of, the life of their life trying to regain that respect. So let's, uh, let's just stop there for today. This is a lot to think about. And uh, remember, we're all being invited to join the experiment. And please get back to us with your comments. I hope we've fixed the sound volume for one thing. And uh, more to the point, anything that you'd like to suggest about this very rich topic. Thank you.